Actually, it's probably in here. What is this? How come this is all tangled around? What the f is going on here? Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Hey, I'm back. How are you doing today? I got you on super wide angle today. I work today. We got the wire ran for the old backup camera on the hoist. You didn't really need to see that. All I did was put the truck on the hoist and run the wire. We're going to get this dash apart here and we're going to try to slap her in the hole and see if we can't get some backup camera action. So first thing we want to do is remove that. Oh, careful. Step four over. And we want to unhook that. We want to take that out. We want to take this out. We want to yank on this like that. Give it a little wiggle. There we go. Oh, what was that? It just fell. Oh, memory card. Use it. Give that a wiggle out of there. And we'll just let her kind of hang down here. Hang low, sweet chariot. Why wouldn't we, right? That's what I say. So now we're going to need a 7 mil, which I happen to bring with me. And we'll undo the head unit, which is six screws, I think. Yeah, actually, it's only really technically four. But I want to get this heater thing out of the way, too, so I can see what's really going on. Because we got to try to get that wire up to here and it's probably too damn short so we'll probably get cocked right over with this deal you wait and watch and see i would wait watch and see why wouldn't you wait watch and see oh wait look at all the wires back here now there's three wires we need to hook up there's a ground a positive and a reverse positive so the green is going to be reverse positive remember so I'm, i wish i could put it on a switch we might be able to do that but we'll have to see so there we go careful oh i forgot one Frick. Careful. There we go. All right. So we'll get this out of the way and we'll get this out of the way. Oh, look at all the stuff that comes out with this. That's decent. And we'll uh, try to figure out what's what here. Because if I'm not mistaken, we've got a whole bunch of module boxes up here. And we got to figure out what's what and what's where. And oh my God, look, it's still coming. Holy, how you doing? Ah, oh, frig. Oh, dick. I don't even know where to start here, Jim. Does anybody know? I don't. What is that? Dude? Hi, babe. Oh, way. What are you doing? I got a my backup camera wire ran. I don't know how to hook it up. I'm a little confused about this, actually. That's a first for you, isn't it? Well, it's pretty pretty high high tech here, you know. What does that say? R. I can't even read that. R, matey. It says whatever, Captain. All right, so we're gonna have to unplug some stuff here and run some other things around because this is just cocked over let's get this out of here there we go we'll get this out of here because it's all tangled around everything holy is it ever steering wheel control that's what that one is perfect so we got what's this oh that there's some kind of relay it is oh dear green so we got a green here so we might be able to figure this out maybe maybe not wow we gotta try to get that wire up too don't we I have some bad feelings about this, boys, girls, peoples. I might have to go see my buddy at DC Audio here. He helped me hook this mess up. Let's plug that in so we don't forget. Holy! I gotta go around the other side. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, there's absolutely nowhere to get up there. If you ever can't find a way to get a wire up, there's always black wire. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna feed her down here somewhere and we're gonna see if we can bring her out with us. So we'll go down here. I don't know where the hell else to go. I'm not gonna catch anything this way. So that's not gonna work. What about down through here? Oh, something's happening. Frank, nothing's happening. Nothing. How about uh, down through here? Nothing. How about down through here? Oh, oh, nothing. How about down through here? Really? How about back through here? I went down through here. Where's it going? I know some of you are probably sitting there. Hey, if you go down here and over to here and around to there, so go right through. You know what? I believe you. Kind of. But, you know, never quit trying. It's not what we do around here. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Oh my god. What the fuck? I could always come up through there, but then I definitely won't have enough wire. Not even close. They don't give you enough. Come on. Where's that come from? Where'd that go? What is that? What is that? Hey, look what I pulled out of the dash. Frig, where'd that come from, Captain? All right, so we found a spot. It's definitely not the right spot, but it's a spot. And the problem with that is now I'm definitely short. Hey, look what I found. I found an extension I did, and it probably fits too. Friggin' right it does. So there we go. So I can go through there, 
All this can go through here. Actually, let's go back there. Go back through here. There we go. Give her a twisty twisty. This can all come back in here. There we go. Perfect. So now all we gotta do is figure out which line this goes into. Now, I'm going to uh, hook up the positive and negative first, of course. And we'll worry about the reverse trigger in a minute here. So positive and negative would be somewhere in here, Captain. Actually, it's probably in here. What is this? How come this is all tangled around? What the f is going on here? Oh, it's another module of some sort. I think it's my door chime. It sure is. So we'll slide this back around here and out here and over here because that's just no good. And then we'll, uh, we'll undo this and see if we can't find some kind of interrupt wire. Now it's probably gonna be beyond this module though is what I'm thinking. So we got brown, we got no greens, got some reds, we got some positives and negatives. We got some of them colors. We're gonna have to take this tape off and take a look in here. All right, so we're gonna start ground here. So we'll get the ground hooked up, which is right here. Oh, we're just gonna wire this in quick here and see what's what. How you doing? Better than me? I freaking hope so, because what are you doing with the shit right at the moment? Hey, ground. There we go. Friggin' fairgrounds are busy. The voting time of year, eh? You better not be voting liberal. Or you're off my friends list. I'm just joking. I give a rat's ass who you vote for, to be honest with you. They're all gangsters anyway. Every single one of them. All right, so there we go. There's ground. Now we need positive, which is this guy. So we need red. Perfect. I hate to say it, but this is an absolute fucking mess in here. What happened? There's only so many, so many places you can put the wire. <laughs> All right, so now that that's hooked up, if we plug in the camera, actually we'll go reverse camera in, okay? That would make sense. So we'll just kind of shove this up, turn it on, and see if we can't get a, uh, a camera deal here. It needs a reverse trigger. So to get a reverse trigger, which is positive, we're just gonna hit a positive feed for now. And we're gonna see if it kicks in. Let's just do that. All right, let's go get out of this. How come I'm on my phone here? I don't want my phone, get out of that. Settings, backup camera on settings actually if i go inputs never used this before rear view camera the video may appear reversed okay oh look at that captain there it is what a nice view eh it's on which is really weird i need to figure out the reverse so i need to figure out which wire is reverse on this thing because then it comes on boop let's figure this out together now that we know the camera now that we know it works we got to figure this out we need a reverse trigger, which will tell the head unit to put it on. So the re how we do that is the final. This is going to be interesting. Let's find out if we can figure this out together. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, so I sat back. Purple with white stripe is your interrupt for your reverse camera. So what we got to find now is the actual reverse signal from the truck. And I was told that it should be, well, I read that it should be light gray on the five pin connector. So five pin, light gray. And I do not see a light gray, unless that's a light gray. Light gray with black stripe. What does that say? Light gray. Light gray. Frick. Is that a five pin? No, that's not a five pin. That's audio. There is a light gray on this one, maybe. Light gray. Dark, 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 dark. So I don't see an interrupt there, and I don't see one there. I don't see anything there. Holy shit, balls. Is that positive? Let's go get my doodad. I fucking need keys now. All right. Frank. Brown or pink? So let's get a ground here again. Where the f it went? There we go. Now we gotta see if brown is a positive. So why does it tell me to go to brown? Seven pin. Brown. No. So brown isn't call. Brown or what other color? Wow. I just got out the trusty meter here and a whole lot of rip apart as you can see. But I finally found it. This wire right here is a reverse. That's reverse positive. So now that I know that, I can hook up, holy shit boys, girls, peoples. I can hook up this one and I can hook up the one that's on the head unit harness, which is right here, which is this purple to that. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hook up this. So I got some play here. And we're gonna test this of course before. I get too far and we'll cut this and we'll connect this one to the head unit here. 
You understand? I don't. So with a little phone call, a little help from Corey at DC Audio and sorry there, if you ever want to get something done, go see Corey at DC Audio if you want your, you know, stereo, if you want your friggin' auto start, backup camera, whatever. Go see him, he'll fix you right up. He kind of gave me a hint on the colors and I kind of went from there and we found her and everything's good. So now we're gonna clean up this fucking mess I got and hopefully get her back together. Yeah. Okay, well I'm not gonna lie. That was overwhelming a little bit. There's a lot to that, eh? There's a lot of wires in there because of all the computer shit and everything else and modules and everything else because I'm running an aftermarket head unit. So it got pretty overwhelming. I stepped back, took a little break, talked to someone I knew, and then did some Google research as well. And I was able to find what I needed. Don't do what I did if you're not sure what you're doing and don't listen to everything I do because I don't know what I'm doing either. But I just want to let you know that if you don't quit, you might figure it out. And I did. So there we go. So now, as you see, everything starts up well. The head unit comes on well. We'll give it a minute here because I unplugged it again so it's gonna wanna do its English thing and everything else. Okay, time's off, but you know, my phone should fix that problem. I plugged that back in, right? Tell me I did. We're gonna find out right now. Yes, we did. Now when I hit reverse, it should kick the camera on. And there you go. So we did good, we got her. It's working, I can see what's behind me, and Bob's your friggin' uncle. Perfect. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you get overwhelmed, just walk away for a few minutes and come back to her, or you'll get cocked over like I did. But I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you watched it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this, and make sure you say thanks to Corey for telling me which wire to look for. One wire. I had to find the other one, but he told me which one on the head unit. So that's a good thing. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Love you all. Until the next one, you know what to do for now.